How does the immensely popular Instant Pot, priced at $100, compare to the Crock-Pot Express Crock Multi-Cooker, which sells for $30 less? It's a Consumer Reports face-off. Both cookers claim to perform many functions, from pressure cooking to making yogurt. Consumer Reports tester Bernie Dietrich put them through their paces. First, he made veggies on the steam cycle. The Instant Pot carrots and broccoli were a bit mushy compared to regular steaming. That's because the Instant Pot pressure steams with a locked lid, so there's less control. And the Crock-Pot's veggies came out about the same. To test sautéing, Bernie prepared chicken cum pao. Neither is great at sautéing, but food stuck to the Instant Pot's stainless inner pot. But the Crock-Pot Express has a non-stick surface, so no sticking and cleaning up is a breeze. Next up, yogurt. Both cookers have a yogurt function. Each can hold a full gallon of milk, and they both heat the milk to 180 degrees prior to the final yogurt making steps. Both produced tasty yogurt, but the Instant Pots was thicker and creamier than that of the crock pot. This close race goes to the Instant Pot. Then the team tackled a slow cooked pulled pork. They took about the same amount of time, and both versions came out tender and tasty. Pork ribs with a dry rub were on the menu as Bernie tried the pressure cooking feature on both. The Instant Pot turned out a rack of tender, juicy ribs with 54 minutes at pressure. The Crock Pot versions were again about the same. Both were faster than the oven alone method, which takes about two hours. Both cookers did a good job of cooking two cups of raw brown rice in about 45 minutes. If you're having a party, both cookers have a warming feature that's nice to use when keeping a large dish at serving temperature. Although you can't adjust the temperature, they both performed well. Bottom line, overall the Crock-Pot Express Crock Multi-Cooker performed about the same as the Instant Pot and was easier to clean, but didn't win the yogurt round. Cost? About $70. If you make a lot of yogurt, paying a little more for the $100 Instant Pot might be worth it. Bon appétit! 